Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, September 8th, 2022. Well, yesterday we finally saw those bulls come back to work. They jumped in there, pushing back up. It took them a while to get started, but they finally pushed on in here. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. If we take a look right in here, we finally saw those bulls come in trying to defend a little bit of price support in here. But unfortunately, one day does not make a trend and we need to find out whether or not they're going to have enough energy to continue to push on through because if we take a look across here, well, we still have some significant issues that we still have to deal with. We have price resistance here. We have price resistance here, and we have a whopper of a price resistance right up here. Um, and we continue to move in this downtrend. The downtrend has not yet been defeated. So we need to be keeping a pretty close eye on some of these resistance levels in the chart as we try to rally, because it may be just that, only a little bit of a relief. Um, to the selling and not produce much of anything else as we attack some of those resistance levels. The next thing we want to be paying attention to on the technical side of things, if we look at this the daily moving average chart, you can see we still have a 50 day moving average up here with the eight exponential having pushed down through and a 34 EMA coming into um, that same zone. So we're creating pretty substantial zone of technical resistance as well in the chart to be um, aware of. And I'll tell you one of my favorite shorting patterns of all time. One of my favorite shorting patterns of all time is a failure through the 50 and a rally back to the 50. And if we get that failure right there at the 50, you can see that kind of pattern break down through rally back. We got a rally back here and fail rally back here and fail. One of my favorite shorting patterns. So I'll be watching that potential short setting up as we rally back. If we take a look at our SPY, very much the same situation. We grabbed a hold of some price support, nice little bullish engulfing candle here, trying to follow through to the upside, but we still have to think about all of this resistance that we've got to deal with as we move back up and significant resistance right in here, including that downtrend um, that we broke to the upside and gave it back up. So lots of resistance there to deal with in the chart. And that also uh, compounded with the problems of our technical resistance in here in the chart that could be building right in this area. So we'll have some work here to do. Uh, fingers crossed the bulls can continue to follow through because I really want more of a rally back to set up potential short trades. But so far, um, we just can't seem to really get her going all that strong in volume was again suspiciously light yesterday until right at the end of the day. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also rallying up nicely, nice bullish engulfing, holding some price support in that chart as you can see. Oh, whoops, I grabbed the wrong tool. Can get rid of that. Um, and as you can see, pushing up nicely here, but as we rally to the upside, we're gonna wanna watch all of these price resistance levels here in the chart. Certainly we have some challenges here with that and defeating the overall downtrend here in that chart. And again, on the technical side of things, well, doggone it, well, there's that technical resistance that uh, we're still going to have to deal with right in here around that 50-day moving average. So we've got some answers to, you know, some big questions that the market's going to have to answer. The, 
and um, it may be difficult with some of the data that we have on um, the calendar for today. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM also did a pretty darn good job um, bouncing up off of this support that was great to see we really need that relief and the good news here in iwm is that also bounced back above that downtrend break where we kind of broke broke that back down now whether or not iwm could continue to follow through with that uh, considering the resistance that we have above and of course uh, once again that technical resistance above that's yet uh, in question and we're going to have to deal with some data here today that well could be a little bit difficult for us to find a whole lot of inspiration in first off let's take a look at our vix our vix finally pulled back nicely nice relief in some of that fear but unfortunately guys it really didn't fix anything we didn't break back down below the support and as a matter of fact we didn't even break down below that trend so what we've really seen is as a very choppy zone in here on that vix no resolution to that situation yet and if those bears were to re-engage we could certainly see that push right back up but if those bulls can continue to hold on, if we can continue to find inspiration, maybe we can push on down and break some of that um, support in that chart and um, get that relief rally, providing a whole lot more of, because um, uh, we really need to relieve some of that pressure um, um, at the moment in this market. If we take a look at our T2122, T2122 made a nice bounce back yesterday. We finally got that move, but it wasn't so much that just made you say, wow, that wasn't really, really impressive. And largely because of the extreme oversold condition that we have been in. However, remember T2122 doesn't give us the the direction of the market um, it just tells us when we're in these oversold and overbought conditions here in the market and um, still provide us that well that concern he, um, when we could flip directions but when we're up here toward the middle of the range what it tells us is that we've opened up a pretty um, sizable opportunity for upside if we can find bullish inspiration and it also tells us that we have also opened up um, that opportunity if the bulls find inspiration to push us back down so we'll have to watch that price action pretty closely today um, and I'm really hoping that we're gonna to continue to relieve this pressure to the upside. Um, uh, but then I will be watching for short trades. Um, let's take a look at our T2108. T2108. Um, bouncing up yesterday, but unfortunately, uh, again, it didn't really resolve some of these problems, as you can see. That downturn break still uh, we pushed up through there, broke it back down, and unfortunately, if we look across all of these lows right in here, all we did was really bounce back up into some of that congestion resistance area. And it's pretty difficult to just, you know, be jumping up and down, uh, hurrah, 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 bullish, 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 with just 36% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. If we take a look at our T2107, very much the same situation. We did get a nice little reprieve in the selling, bounce back up. We didn't get back above this area, but the good news is we did hold on to that price support. So maybe those small caps can continue to help us um, uh, relieve some of this pressure to the upside. But once again, 27 28 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day is not a bullish case uh, for the market just yet so watch that closely our t2101 uh, did switch momentum here we went from that bearish momentum and we switched it to the bullish side now the the question is going to be can we follow through that bullish side can we break this little um, upside trend that the bearish move um, had created. Can we break that down and continue that follow through to the upside? That's yet to be um, answered here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got some things on here that, well, could really give the market some heartburn. Um, first off, we're gonna hear sometime this morning 
we're going to hear um, about um, the ECB rate decision. Um, we've got jobless claims in here. By the way, I forgot to write that in the blog this morning, but we've got jobless claims in here this morning. There is some concern with the recent layoffs that we've heard about from companies that this number could start creeping up a little bit. So watch that carefully. Um, it had the last couple of weeks, it showed an improvement, um, which hasn't been helpful for the FOMC. So <laughs> watch that closely uh, with that back and forth. It's one of those things where good is bad and bad is good. And it's just hard to know how the market's going to react. Um, Jerome Powell will be speaking. And, and I'm guessing the timing here is going to be shortly after the ECB rate decision where they're expected to do kind of a jumbo rate increase of 75 basis points, um, trying to defend against their runaway inflation right now and also bolster their euro which continues to weaken against the US dollar pretty substantially so they're um, they're really uh, fighting a, an ugly battle over there with uh, Putin and now saying that well the energy is shut off and may be shut off completely um, uh, for a very very cold winter in Europe if things don't change so a lot of pressure over there in the Europe um, space if we take a look then later on today we've got natural gas report petroleum status report petroleum status continues it, it, the last several weeks it continues to come in at a negative petroleum number makes you wonder what happened to all of that oil that we were once producing and why are we running into these energy issues but if it continues on that path, then it may um, help support um, those oil prices that have recently pulled back. And I think largely due to the strength of the US dollar. We'll look at that in just a second. Then we've got Charles Evans speaking. And later on today, we've got the Fed balance sheet. Um, as you plan forward, you want to just take note, there's not much of anything for inspiration here on Friday. Um, we've got some more Fed speakers. Um, you know, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so more uncertainty when they come out and uh, yak it up um, here on the market and kind of pontificate as to what's going to come next for their rate decision. Let's take a look at um, our uh, earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is well, we have about 30 companies listed on the calendar, but less than 20 of those are confirmed reports. And unfortunately, guys, there's just not um, a, a group of reports that is going to be market moving. Um, but there are some notables to be paying attention to. Take a look. Um, DOCU um, is um, on that list. Now, obviously, Horrifically bearish chart right now, breaking down through um, these recent um, support levels here in the chart. This could be an important um, um, earnings to decide whether or not we're going to start bouncing back a little bit or if we continue to sink to the downside. Um, FCEL F -Cell will be reporting today again pretty darn bearish chart here with a recent upside rally but it gave it all back and gave back support so again could be an important report uh, we're going to hear from a defensive sector uh, fizz beverage company will be reporting today had a recent harsh pullback heading into this earning so watch that closely um, although we are still holding on to this upside trend um, we're going to hear from um, restoration hardware today keep an eye on that one and um, ZUMZ will be reporting today so watch carefully uh, for that report uh, today. Um, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of those that are somewhat notable today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos useful and helpful in planning your day, if you could please do me that favor, clicking that thumbs up button, leave a, a brief comment, um, helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys 
um, seriously, yesterday there were some comments that just truly humbled me. Um, I, I um, never in my wildest dreams would have expected um, uh, this kind of response to um, content that doesn't provide any kind of prediction um, on the market. We just look at the technicals and try to make decisions on how we may want to approach the market for today. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence and be thinking very, very carefully uh, about the risk of these trades. Now, um, by the way, never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. If we take a look, you guys know that I've been mentioning BJ's here for a while and boy, did it take off like a rocket yesterday. Um, so hopefully some of you are in that trade moving on up. My original alert was right in here. BJ's moving to the upside. So we can have bullish price action in a bearish market. But um, we want to be careful in over trading long trades in a potential bearish market. We'll see if we can get some follow through on that. That's a big move yesterday on BJ. See if it can move on through to the upside. Might have to rest a little bit more in here, but I do think it's worth keeping an eye on. Speaking of retail, we also saw some pretty darn good moves here in big retail. Uh, Target making a nice move, popping up, um, breaking through some resistance again that we had lost here recently as support and uh, pop, popping up through. So now what we need to see is we need to see some proof now that we've pushed on up there. Can that hold as a level of support? If that can hold in there as a level of support, we can move through that upside trend. Awesome. Let's see that, see that get to work and maybe we can start working on filling this gap if we can follow on through. If we take a look at Walmart, Walmart also had a nice move up yesterday. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we're you know, popping into some price resistance on this chart. Um, and, and it is significant as well. Um, so you'll want to watch that closely, um, whether or not it can follow through. That's the question. But following through up here and holding that higher low, maybe we can follow this upside trend in here and maybe get something going and work on filling that gap. Take a look at Costco. Costco also made a nice little bump up yesterday. Um, it's been one of those that's been kind of favored here in the market, but be kind of careful here overall. Um, we haven't broken that downtrend yet, and we still have this resistance in the chart. So um, you guys know that when I see a stock rallying back to downtrend and rallying into resistance, I'm not necessarily looking at it as a potential long. I'm looking at it as that potential that we could fail in here for a short trade. So keep an eye on that. I like to short at price resistance. I buy long at price support. So watch stocks like that. that we have a mix of uh, trade ideas in here that could be, well, could be a little bit challenging uh, considering the price action that we've seen here in the market. Now, I mentioned UUP um, um, or the US dollar. US dollar had a, um, a big surge in the morning yesterday, but finally gave us a little bit of relief and pullback. And it looks like it's trying to pull back a little bit more. That certainly could help to see um, um, the bulls be able to follow through if we can get a little weakening in this. And with a, if we got a substantial um, ECB rate increase, that would improve the euro against the dollar and we might see that dollar start coming back. So that being said, let's take a look if the dollar starts weakening. What we might want to be looking for um, is a, an improvement in some of the commodity prices, gold perking up. Now I wouldn't call this um, a bullish chart in any way, shape or form, but we do have a little bit of a double bottom trying to form here. Wait until that can prove a high or low, then be interested in it. But GLD, SLV um, saw some nice moves in um, US Steel yesterday. So we're getting a few of those commodity prices perking back up um, as a result 
um, of that. So watch those close. If we can follow that through with the dollar weakening, that could also help. Now at the same time, if the dollar continues to weaken, we've had this substantial pullback in energy, but I want you to notice on that pullback of the dollar yesterday, we saw energy prices uh, find some price support in here and start to perk back up. Have these downtrends uh, trends in place, so you you may have to search around in some of those energy companies to find um, some good upside moves. But keep an eye on this. If um, um, this is a hold of that support and trend, and if the dollar weakens, we certainly could see those energy prices move up. And then considering that uh, petroleum status number today, if we continue to show weakness in those supplies, then we could see that push on through to the upside. So maybe keeping an eye, keeping an eye on some of those energy stocks if that dollar continues to pull back. And speaking of energy, um, take a look at stocks like First Solar. Um, I've been mentioning this one over and over and over. These um, um, alternative energies right now, when we have this um, serious lack of energy around the country, um, around the world, I should say, and um, seeing some of these alternatives perk up and this also gets the benefit of that big congressional spending bill on these alternative energies for solar looking good you guys know i've been talking about this popping on through yahoo there she goes and of course my um position here in ccj um also it pushed down earlier in the day continue to push up um, at the end of the day with that dollar sinking a little bit. Keep an eye on some of these uranium plays as well. Um, they're still looking pretty darn good. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Please do me that favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave that comment. And also, please feel free to share these videos out there on your social media feeds. I truly, truly appreciate it. Y'all take care, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.